they were sitting on his laps, the kids. There's James Safe Chuck. Uh, maybe fondling him, maybe rubbing his hands and kids' his hair, um, kissing him. When you say fondling? Hugging, kind of petting, petting the kids. Petting the kids where? Kind of by the rear end. I didn't think it was appropriate because they're not his children, you know? I just didn't think it was right. Did you ever talk to anybody about it? You know, I signed a confidentiality agreement and I was already conditioned and programmed. You don't question it. And we were told to stay away from the family. You're just a maid, you do your job. Every time we were together, it happened. Um, there was no night that went by that I was with him that he didn't sexually abuse me. Adrian is not the only one to be speaking out on the 10th anniversary of Michael Jackson's death. I was seven years old. Michael asked, do you and the family want to come to Neverland? Hello, Wade. Today is your birthday, so congratulations. I love you. Goodbye. Australian choreographer Wade Robson has claimed he was molested by the singer when he was a boy. He told me if they ever found out what we were doing, he and I would go to jail for the rest of our lives. Now, he and former child actor James Safechuck have gone Aww, much this further, poor guy. accusing Jackson you know... of the most despicable depravity. Aww. In a controversial documentary, Leaving Neverland, it was recently unveiled at the Sundance James. Film Festival. There are fans of Mr. Jackson who don't believe your story or perhaps don't want to believe it. What, is there anything that you feel that you can't say to them? In a way, not that long ago, I was in the same position they were. Even though it happened to me, I still couldn't believe it. And I still couldn't believe that what Michael did was a bad thing. And the reason I would believe you have 14 Wade years later, speaks. All this would be regurgitated. The reason I believe Wade. Oh, there's that slimy lawyer. The reason I believe that Wade speaks more than James is because James Safechuck heard Wade Robson talk about this on Good Morning America in 2012. And I just want to know why Oprah was so interested in doing Neverland the Aftermath. I'm going to show you some clips passed from Oprah that just made me want to vomit. And this lawyer is a liar. He's paid by the Jackson Family Estate PR machine. I mean, the guy owns Paul... Um, McCartney's music and the Beatles or the Beatles music for sure he bought the album Michael Jackson oh and he never had a childhood oh just like a bunch of children in many parts of this world never have a childhood and they grow up but they don't grow up rich spoiled with an addiction and then start doing things to children that everybody in the world wants to deny because of Billy Jean give me a break I would this never is me off. such a thing happening. I just uh, still have trouble Because these are figures in power. Misero, the these are figures in are power. If I came online and talked about, I can't get you know, um, I mean, a I famous person and in teacher in Grimsby that hurt me, do you think anybody would care? In this is Michael Jackson we're talking about, Jackson. like... Of James and Wade would go against him. And defends the singer. His parents day, didn't try to sue him for best. money. Michael never abused a child. Oh, never bullshit. A child, certainly never molested a child. I think this is hogwash. Are you on any sort of retainer at all from the Jackson estate? No, I'm not on any retainer at all. To Liar. Not any money to say nice things about Michael Jackson? No, no. Liar. Liar. I say he was a nice person. He was. He was one of the nicest people I ever met. Yeah, you were, you were his lawyer. Smoke and fire argument. Is there any fire? 